I've got quite a few videos all centered around blogging, how to set up your blog, how to use blogs for this, that, even how to do uh, blogs instead of portfolios. But one thing I was looking back through and I couldn't find was how to actually just add a blog post into a blog. It's like super simple, 101, and yet I just, I didn't have it. So what I wanted to do was make this super simple video talking you through every step of the way, how to add stuff into your blog, how to publish it, how to schedule it, everything. So I'm not going to waffle on, let's just get into it. So to add our blog post into our site, what we do is we head to website and then we're going to find our blog. If you haven't got a blog, just click up here and then find under collections blog, click it, easy peasy. Now I've already got the blog set up. So to add it in, Squarespace has changed this a little bit. You click into blog content and then you're going to click up here on this and click plus. That's going to take us straight into the post. So we'll give it a title, just call it my article, and then we can add our text in here. So I'm just going to use Squarespace's AI generator to write a 200 word, word, word blog post and let that do its thing. So it's going to write the blog post. Obviously, you will write this blog post. Um, and then what we can do is we can add tons of different blocks in. We can also set up the page how we wish. So we'd go to edit section and let me just drag this over here. You can set the content width. So you can go narrow all the way up to wide. And then if you want to be even more granular, you can use the custom controls like this. Then you can have your text either to the left or center. That only affects uh, the title, I believe. So we'll stick that to the left. And then the meta position, if you are going to display your metadata, you can have that above or below the title. So that's like your dates, your categories, you know, whatever. Then you can see, you can turn them off if you wish. Uh, author name. Yeah. Anyway, it all goes up there. Author profile, if you want to show that, that stays at the bottom. And then delimiter style is just what goes in between all of these. So you can have bullet, pipe, dash, or just a simple space like so. And then header spacing is just the spacing beneath the header. So you can see, I think we can go up to what, 100 PX? Looks a little bit terrible, doesn't it? So we'll keep it to that. Then you can change the colors if you wish. So we can go through all of these and find what we think is coolest. I'm gonna be a weirdo and go with red. Now, one thing to note is that whatever you do on one blog, so you know all of this section uh, changing that I'm doing, this will apply to every blog within that section. So it's important, uh, within that collection, sorry. So it's really important to think, okay, I'm making this change, but it's actually a global change. It's not just a singular um, targeted change. So just bear that in mind. Once we're happy, hit save, and that's gonna be saved to our drafts. Now, if we wanna add stuff in, it's just like using classic editor on Squarespace. You know, I can stick an image in like this, I can go into stock images and I can find something groovy. And obviously then you can upload your own images, which I assume you'll be doing. Then you can also stick in things like uh, newsletter signups. That's a popular one. I use that on my blog. And then at the end, maybe you want a CTA. So you can put a button in and we can attach a link to say, you know, go to the contact page. And we'll say contact us for, you know, cool stuff. Nice. So that's that. And as I say, once you're happy, you hit save. It's going to keep it in the drafts. If I look here, you can see it says draft. Now, we want to make this a full article. So we click into settings, and then we're going to add a featured image. So you can either upload that, or you can just click. And then that's going to show. Uh, you'll probably see it to the left in a moment. So once that's in, and then we can do an excerpt. We can change the post URL. We can change the author, so you know whoever's credited as having written it. Source URL, no one really uses this. And then you've got options for status, but we'll come to that in a moment. Tags, categories, you can enable comments. You can feature the post. Again, this is something no one really uses. SEO, pretty important. So you can add your title and your description here. Social share image, not as important. Share, again, not as important. Location. Important for events, not important for blog posts. Once you're happy, hit save, stays in draft, changes the thumbnail. Then we click the three buttons and we can go back to options and back to status. 
Here, we can either schedule it for a date in the future. We can say it needs review. So with needs review, what that means is you can, let's say, write it, and then you have uh, an editor who comes in and edits it on the side. So if I save this, it's going to come up with the tag need review and your editor can look through these and say, okay, I need to review this and this and this and whatever. So we click the three dots again, options, status. And then if we just want to go straight ahead, we can say published and then we can set the date that it was published. Or what we can do, if I just put it back in draft, is we can go directly into the article by clicking edit. And let's say, you know, you finish up here and you're happy just to go straight ahead. You'd say publish publish and then the article is live so if i was to go to the blog you'd see the article here nice and easy hopefully you found that useful if you did please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe and if you want me to build your squarespace website you can get in touch using the links in the description